Hi, my name is Victoria Davis, and today I'll be talking about Margaret Eliza Maltby. Margaret Eliza Maltby was born in Bristolville, Trumbull County, Ohio, in 1860, but she was originally named Minnie Eliza, then changed her name to Margaret in 1889. She studied at Oberlin College for about a year, then at the Art Student League in New York City, and then went on to study at MIT where she earned a Bachelor's of Science in Physics in 1891. While she was in school, she was a, she taught as a high school teacher, and then later taught at the Wellesley College in Massachusetts, and then at Lake Irie College for women in Painesville, Ohio. Her contributions to leadership were that she went to study physical chemistry at Göttingen University in Germany, and she was one of the she was the first woman to earn her doctorate in physics at a German university. In 1898, she returned to Germany to be a research assistant to Frederick Kohlsrosch and was the first female staff member at the research facility. Maltby and Kohlsrosch studied the electrical conductivity of aqueous solutions to alkali chlorides and nitrates. Yes, I know, it's a lot of big words. They studied how much one substance can conduct electricity compared to another. Um, in the 19, in early 1900, she began to teach chemistry at Barnard College, a college for women that was adopted by Columbia University. And during her first year, she taught general chem, organic chemistry, and physical chemistry. From 1903 to 1910, she taught at the physics department at Barnard. From 1910 to 1931, she was an associate professor and the physics department head. She was one of the only female teachers on the campus, and she inspired many of her young stu her female students to be more. Um, she encouraged scholars while she was an active member of the Association for College Alumni, which later became the American Association of University Women. She wrote a piece called The Physicist in what was known as the Careers for Women, a book that could tell women hey, you can do this, not just men. Um, she was the only female honored in the first edition of American Men of Science, and she believed that encouraging women in academic careers, and she even went so far as to write a letter to the dean of Barnard College when they wanted Harriet Brooks, a physics graduate, to resign when she announced she was going to get married, saying that neither she, Maltby, or the dean, Laura Gill, would give up their professional lives for the domestic ones.